It's great. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm I'm definitely excited. Yeah. Well, you know, it's um, you know, we should know by now that, that we're gonna get something heavy from you, that something strong, something fast, and something with that just amazing vocals. But but um it, you you're probably surprising a lot of people with this, right? I think I am, you know. Uh it's a, a little heavier, you know, than than usual. Yeah. Uh, kind of going back to my roots, really, you know, I mean, it's kind of a mixture between like the jugulator stuff and then my older stuff and beyond fear stuff. And then some of the older stuff I did when I first started off. So it's, uh, I think also it's a great record. It's strong. And, and, uh, you know, I think that's the big part. Yeah. Well, it is heavier, but these are kind of heavier times too, right? <laughs> it is. It is. You know what though? <clears throat> what's cool about this is it's heavy, but it's, it's still, it isn't trying to be somebody else. It's just not trying to do something that's heavy. You know, it sounds like me singing. The chorus is you know, a lot of melody. The choruses are real catchy and, and a lot of melody. I think it's, it's just not, you know, it's just not going, hey, let's do something heavy. You know, it's kind of, kind of got a good thing to it. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, maybe it's like asking to choose a favorite child or something, but is there a song that you were just, you just couldn't wait to reveal that it's, it's your favorite um, off the album? Yeah, it's hard. I mean, it's <clears throat> I couldn't wait to, to release Die While We're Alive right away just because it was straight in your face and it had that high note at the beginning and it was so ripper-esque. And, and, uh, but I, I think um, Heroes Dare is probably one of my favorites. I couldn't wait to get it out there just because it's really catchy. You know, it's got some, you know, killer melodies and it's just a, a, a cool tune. Yeah, I got to ask, how do you keep that voice in shape? Because I, I don't know that I could... <laughs> Well, I think at this point at my age, I just pray that it's going to be there. <laughs> you know, it's the voice is a weird thing. You can just lose it for no reason. You cannot have it one day and have it the next day. And, you know, I sing just about every day in my studio. I, I do a lot of guest appearances. Everybody knows this. I do a lot of guest appearances on people's songs and records all throughout the world. And if somebody wants me to do that, they can contact me at rippervocals at gmail.com, rippervocals at gmail.com. You know, it, it's nice to have to be off the road and be able to do that for a living and, and do music for a living. So I, I, I kind of sing every day in my studio. Yeah, I uh, love that. And uh, that's got to be kind of interesting, too, because now yeah, modern technology, you know, you don't even have to be in the studio with them. You don't even have to meet them, you know, and I, they get to send over the tracks. And, you know, what's cool is I get sent all different styles. I mean. It's funny, I just did a Christmas song the last couple of days for, for next year for, for a label. And I, I'll do stuff that's like death metal and hardcore and, and in 80s metal and one that sounds like 70s metal. And it's cool to have a voice like mine. That, it's funny, I'll get a song like the, the hardcore ones or something. And I go, I wonder what made him even think of me to do this. But uh, I can do just about anything. So it's, it's always fun to do it. Yeah. Do you remember that first song that you heard that, uh, or maybe album that you heard that just kind of like that set the spark and you're like, oh, man, this is what I want to do? Well, there's all kinds. I mean, I, I remember listening. My dad uh, was fortunate to hear hear his music when I when I was a kid and, and him listening to anywhere from from uh, Bachman Turner Overdrive to Rolling Stones to Aerosmith to Alice Cooper. I think when I got the kiss rock and roll over album i really i dug it and the one that realized i could sing anything i wanted was probably uh hearing uh, judas priest come for vengeance when i heard electric guy i was like man i you know rob this guy changes his voice like three times right at the beginning of the song you know so that was probably the one that really gave me the spark yeah and then what a crazy story to end up in the band and then have your story told in the movie and just says it's got to be just like a what what an interesting journey but also an inspirational one too for a lot of people it is and and uh you know i always say to people i got a lucky break um and people's always like oh man you were the man you were lucky it was it was a lucky break someone found a video and it was a lucky break but i i took the lucky break and ran with it. i didn't you know after i left judas priest 
you know, luckily I joined Iced Earth and then I just kept going and moving on and, and then realizing that I could tour the world solo. I mean, I, I played more places that last year I played solo and did shows all the way from Alaska to Australia to, you know, Latin America to Spain, whatever. It was just everywhere, America. And um, all because of making Judas Priest, you know, I mean, it was uh, uh, it's funny because I never thought I would be a musician. I, you know, I always had a regular job. So it wasn't like, you know, all right, I'm going to be a rock star. And then uh, the, the, the kid from Akron, Ohio became one. Yeah, that's so cool. And so what kind of advice do you give to the kids that are, you know, looking at their favorite bands or, you know, looking to do uh, what you do in general? And because and, it's because it's hard, but it can be done. Yeah, I say uh, get a degree in something. Yeah. <laughs> I say get a trade, go to college, do something. But really, here's the thing. Whatever you do. Um, if it's music, I don't care, you know, you, you can't just count on that, but w whenever you're doing it, you got to do it to the best of your ability. My job, and this is what their job should always be to go on stage and blow people away, you know, yeah. and that's what I always say. I mean, you know, do, do what else, uh, but whatever you're going to do, just do it to the best of your ability. You know, like if you're going to own a, a hair salon, or if you're going to be a hairstylist, own the salon and be, you know, sing while you're doing it and be magical. And, and uh, so that's kind of my advice is always just do the best. I don't care if it's promoting your shows, doing your albums, uh, just do the best you can. Yeah, well said. You know, our uh, our host, uh, Drew Pearson, famously caught the Hail Mary, went in the Hall of Fame this last year. And we talk about that Hail Mary moment, which is the moment in your life or career where you just kind of had to go for it and worked out for you. And that that was probably it. Or I don't know, maybe you've had others. Uh, well, I mean, it's hard to top getting a phone call from Drew <laughs> Pearson to, uh, you know, being nominated for a Grammy, uh, having a movie loosely based on I mean, it just continues on, though. Everything I do now. Yeah. I mean, I get to talk to you and talk to people and do this stuff. So it's, pr it's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's great. And on record, we talk about that success mindset that you have to have to not only get in what you do, but stay in what you do. Is there something you tell yourself that always keeps you on the right path, even when things are tough? Uh, yeah. You know, I mean, it, it, it gets hard just like with everybody. I mean, when COVID hit, you know, I thought, what am I going to do? And that's, that's actually when I started doing the guest appearances on people's records. But, uh, mm -hmm. You know, everybody goes through, I've been through a lot of personal stuff this past uh, year and uh, it's been a lot tougher, you know, with stuff. Um, it's been tougher to, uh, to come down to the studio and record, you know, but you have to do it. You just, you know, you have to try and get your mind right, but it's hard. I mean, I struggle, like I said, I've struggled this past year and past months uh, pretty hard, but I uh, just know that I got to work, work on stuff and you got to still do it the best best that you can you know you can't you can't half-ass it yeah and uh and are we gonna see you on tour here pretty soon i hope so you know the big i'm gonna do some stuff solo but the big thing is um is kk's priest probably the next year or two is a big one i mean we just finishing up the record and um uh you know, it's it's just in a mixing process now, and I think that's going to be it. We're going to hit the road, and I'll be touring with that the, the next couple of years. There's probably a pretty crazy mix of music on there, and and uh, you'll probably we we'll probably hear some do the free songs maybe during that time. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, you hear them in my solo set. I'll play stuff from Jugulator and Demolition, um, and you will. Uh, uh, I would imagine in the KK's Priest set. I mean, it's going to be filled with a lot of KK's Priest because we'll have two records, but I. I imagine we'll try to play something. I mean, there's no doubt. I don't, I could never see us not playing something from Jugulator, you know, Burning Hell and, yeah. you know, one on one from Demolition to Hell is Home and some other. Uh, but uh, I think the KK's preset is going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, that's going to be amazing. And then, uh, and then, of course, uh, you know, we'll probably hear a lot more new music, a lot more guests, a lot of, you know, uh, interesting stuff from you from the rest of the year, right? Yeah, I mean, I've been busy. Like I said, you know, the plan is to work on the new, you know, the Ripper. Uh, and again, the solo EP is just Ripper. It's under Ripper, so everybody knows. And the Return to Death Row, they can get that at, at um, martyrstore.net, I think it is. martyrstore.net. 
um, all kinds of bundles, bundles, shirts, hats, CDs, vinyl, cassettes. But I think the goal is to work on the 10 song regular full length record with all new songs. Um, but, you know, I just released, you know, three trimmers last year, a new one. I released a uh, uh, progressive metal album with a band called Pyramid that's out there. That's really great. Um, so I think but right now, the main concern, the main concern right now would be a lot with KK's Priest. That's going to be like I told Ken, first and foremost, that's what I do. But uh, the other main, obviously, main focus is, um, is so the solo stuff. I love it. Well, we are so excited for you, man. Uh, thank you so much for being with us today and for putting out some great new uh, rock music because we really needed it. Hey, thank you. And listen, anytime you want to do this, uh, just give me a shout. We'll do it. We'll do it whenever you want. Oh, I'd love that. Thank you so much. Yeah. Buddy. Okay. We'll see you soon. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah. All right. Bye.